Spider-Man's powers come from a spider bite that he received as a teenager. And apart from his web shooters, his costume is mainly just material. Or at least it was originally. Over the years, different versions of the spider suit have emerged that not only have different designs, but also give Peter Parker new and different abilities. In the comics, there are literally hundreds of different suits, and quite a lot of them bestow very different abilities. But this video is going to focus on the five most powerful spider suits that have featured in animation. Not the comics, not live action or video games, just animation. We're also not going to be including the anime spider suit from the Spider-Verse film. This is simply because it's not so much a Spider-Man suit as it is a giant spider robot. So it doesn't really fit the theme of this video. And with that out of the way, let's get started. Number 5. The Spider Armor Suit now, this suit was originally made in the comics as a bulletproof suit for Spider-Man to fight some bad guys who had a lot of guns and firepower. And in Spider-Man the Animated Series, we see the costume on a Spider-Man from another universe, in which Spider-Man is a beloved hero to the world. His Uncle Ben is still alive, Gwen Stacy is not only alive but the two are married, and Peter Parker himself is a billionaire who has his own company. It's basically Peter Parker's perfect universe. It's also kind of like Peter Parker if he was also Iron Man. And as such, this Spider-Man has a special tech suit that is a stronger version of the Spider-Man armor, complete with inbuilt lasers. Now, the full power of this suit isn't shown, but it is of course bulletproof, and no doubt has several other tech powers built into it. Number 4. The Nanotech Spider Suit in the short-lived one-season cartoon, Spider-Man Unlimited, Spider-Man's normal costume is destroyed. So he makes a fancy new one using nanobots that are stolen from Reed Richards' lab. The nanobots are housed in a watch that Peter Parker wears, and when he activates it, they come out of the watch and link together to form the suit over whatever Peter Parker is wearing, which is insanely useful when a hero needs to quickly change into his costume or back into street clothes. The suit also houses web shooters, can fire spider tracers uh, along with little spider projectiles, and it was built in order to fight symbiotes, meaning it has a sonic mode, so it gives off loud sonic noises that of course affect a symbiote. And most impressive of all, it has an active camo mode that essentially makes Spider-Man invisible, which is of course very useful when you're a superhero, as it makes stealth incredibly easy. And of course, it has a tactile heads-up display that makes it a lot easier when locking onto targets, especially since it has a night vision mode. And the suit is a nanofiber mesh, so it also makes it very hard to unmask him, as you can't just pull the mask off, as it is essentially seamless. And the material itself is incredibly strong, even able to survive blasts from lasers. And though guns aren't used on this show, it is very possible that it could also stop a bullet. Number 3 the Strange Spider-Man suit. In the Ultimate Spider-Man series, Doctor Strange at one point gives Spider-Man the Eye of Agamotto, which transforms his spider suit into a magical hybrid of his costume that's sort of half Spider-Man and half Doctor Strange's. This suit gives Spider-Man the ability to fly and to open portals to other dimensions. It also gives him magical purple webs that are reinforced with magical power meaning they can hold magical and demonic creatures. Now, the full extent of this suit isn't shown, as Spider-Man does give the eye back to Stephen Strange, and he doesn't really get it again for the rest of the series. But he most likely has other magical powers as well, as the Eye of Agamotto is a very powerful magical relic. But since Spider-Man has no sorcery training, he doesn't really know how to use the eye properly, or how to use it to its full extent. So deciding where exactly the suit would go on this list was quite hard for that reason. But since Spider-Man can fly and open portals to other dimensions with it, it really does deserve this spot as it is still a very powerful suit. Number 2. The Agent Venom Suit Now the symbiote suits are extremely powerful as they boost all of Spider-Man's powers and once they bonded with his DNA they are even able to give his powers to others. And some suits of note are the Spider Carnage suit, which not only boosts this alternate universe evil Spider-Man's powers, but it also allows him to morph the suit into different weapons, and of course into different shapes. And in the Unlimited Spider-Man series, the Carnage and Venom suits not only can morph into different shapes and turn into an almost liquid form so they can fit through nearly any gap, 
but they also make the wearer seemingly invincible, as bullets and laser blasts do fire right through their body and cause damage, but they feel no pain whatsoever, and the destroyed part of them is instantly regenerated. Although of course they are still vulnerable to sonics, but when you're pretty much immune to bullets, well I think that's a fair trade-up. And though these powers are very impressive, when it comes to raw power, the Agent Venom suit seems to be the best. It has all the standard spider powers, able to stick to walls, shoot webs, super strength, but it can also absorb other weapons and incorporate them into itself. At one point stealing the rocket blasters off a Beetle suit, and then permanently incorporating them into itself so that he can use these whenever. He's also able to take armor and incorporate into himself as well. Now it doesn't really adapt any other weapons in the show, but presumably it could adapt others if Flash Thompson pushed it to. And this adaption ability is what really sets it ahead from the others, as it can keep making itself more and more powerful. That and the fact that this suit doesn't take over Flash's mind at all, or even seem to influence his thoughts in any way. He is completely in control of it, something which has never really happened in any other incarnation of the suit. Either the symbiote just influences their mind and sends them a bit crazy, or it actually takes over control of their body completely. And the only drawback with the Agent Venom suit is of course its weakness to fire and sonics. A weakness which is shared by all the other symbiotes. But it is still the most powerful symbiote suit that we've seen in animation thus far. Number 1. The Iron Spider I imagine there was little doubt in anyone's mind that this suit would be the winner. It is essentially an Iron Man suit after all and it does have some very impressive specs. It's bulletproof, has lasers and blasters, it can fly, has additional arms that can be used in battle, has a direct link to the internet with heads up tactical display and night vision, and of course the visor can filter through all of the different spectrums. It also has its own web shooters built into the suit and is able to shoot spider tracers. And in the Ultimate Spider-Man series, Peter Parker actually can't use the suit properly because it's just too advanced for him. He has previously tried, but he just can't seem to figure out how to control it. Now, to be fair, this is mainly played off as a joke, and he hasn't really tried to master it. But he undoubtedly could if he actually applied himself. But until then, Amadeus Cho is the Iron Man spider suit wearer. He is a super genius, but he doesn't actually have any spider powers. He doesn't really have any powers at all, except for being a super genius. But the suit also compensates for this, and can approximate Spider-Man's powers meaning the suit makes him super strong and lets him stick to walls for the most part. And this suit is so powerful that it was even the one chosen to be adapted for the Infinity War and Endgame Avengers films. Because this is just the coolest spider suit there is. And the great beauty of this suit is that it gives the wearer both the powers of Spider-Man and the abilities of Iron Man, two of the most famous heroes of all time, who each have very impressive abilities in their own right. But combined, this makes for a very, very powerful weapon that makes the wearer insanely dangerous. And that is the five most powerful spider suits that have featured in animation so far. Now, I feel that I should mention the 2099 spider suit as well. I haven't actually included it in the list because really its only great ability is that it's made of a futuristic material that makes it super strong and quite possibly stronger than any of these other suits. But other than that, it doesn't seem to grant any other abilities, or at least none that have been shown in animation to date. Though since the Spider-Verse film had a 2099 teaser at the end, I imagine that will change when the sequels come out. But what do you think? Do you agree with this list? Or are there any other suits in animation that you think should have been included? Feel free to let us know in the comments, and I'd just like to say a quick thank you to those who made this video possible by donating to the Needle Mouse Productions page on Patreon. And I just want to give a quick shout out to our newest Patreon, Malachi Williams. And as always, thanks for watching, and feel free to subscribe, share, like, and comment.